Hello, we're going to make a quick video and this uh, will hopefully be a quick lit little video demonstrating how to install the Cisco VPN AnyConnect pre-deploy software. Uh, this specific version is 3.1.05182-K9. Um, uh, we're looking to install this package on CentOS 7. First thing we have to do is uh, we want to go out to open up our web browser. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, we're going to first want to go to something called the EPEL. So I'll go to Google and I'll put in EPEL. These are packages that are created by Fedora for CentOS. Um, and there's a package that we need to load in order to make this uh, Cisco VPN software work correctly. So what I did was I went to uh, fedoraproject.org slash wiki slash EPEL. I'm scrolling down the page a little bit and it says if you are running Enterprise Linux 7 version, uh, that's what the CentOS 7 uh, will be compatible with, you want to click this link right here to download this version of the EPEL uh, YUM repo. So then we're going to go ahead and click on this and we'll save it. I'll just save it in my downloads directory. It's a little file, won't take long to download. We'll put that uh, Firefox in the background. Now I'm going to open my terminal. Let me make this a lot bigger so it's easier to read. Okay. Um, First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change into root. I have sudo. I could use sudo, but I'm going to change into root. And uh, I know I downloaded this to uh, home. My user ID. Downloads. And I'm going to install this package here. Okay, this will just take one second to install. Okay, after installing that EPEL package, there's um, one package that you need to install that will come from this, from the yum repo that was uh, created here. And uh, so we're going to type yum install pongo x dash compat. I have another video uh, under the Mr. Linux Info on YouTube, under the Mr. Linux Info channel on YouTube, uh, that describes uh, the process of figuring out what what you need to install. We're just doing the, the quickie little thing here and uh, pretending we knew all this uh, before we started the process. Okay. So now we've installed this Pongo X-Compat uh, software, and that, that's a big part of what we need to do. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, software.lehigh.edu. We'll log in with our Lehigh ID and password. And after you log in with your Lehigh ID and password, for example, I'm doing this from home, you'll notice that uh, uh, you'll have a couple of things with green check marks. One of the things with a green check mark will be something called Cisco AnyConnect VPN. That's what we're actually installing. So go ahead and click that little green check mark. And there's some information on how to install on other operating systems. And hopefully this video will be up for CentOS 7 uh, if it works properly. Uh, so then go down and click the big green download button and what we're going to do is we're going to click on the uh, little radio button here that says Linux 64-bit 
Uh, currently, as of November 7th, there is no 32-bit CentOS um, operating, uh, operating system. They only have the 64-bit. So we're going to go ahead and click Agree and Download. We're going to save this file. And again, I haven't set my Firefox up to uh, ask me where to save, so it all just goes directly down into the Downloads directory. So we've got two more seconds, one more second. Okay, it's all done. Okay, I'm in the Downloads directory from previously uh, installing that EPEL uh, package. Let's do an LS and see if we see it. Oh, look at that. That's great. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a directory called uh, AnyConnect. A yeah, directory can be any name you want. I just like to, whenever I'm uh, unzipping something, I like to isolate it into a directory so that uh, if it makes a bunch of miscellaneous files, it's not, you know, uh, messing a directory up that I care about. So, let me do this. Move any okay. I want to move that file into the any connect directory. And then I'm going to uh, G unzip or gunzip uh, this file. You can do this all in one one tar statement, but I like to do it in two separate statements. Okay, so uh, I've g-unzipped it. I'm going to tar and I'm going to extract and verbose give me messages, file name. Uh, okay, and then um, so now I'm going to hit enter and let's see what it did. Okay, great. It uh, made a little directory here after it untarred the uh, tar file. And so we're going to go into that directory at any connect 3.1.05182 directory. Now we'll see three directories in here. I know from previous experience that I had to install it. I want to go into the VPN directory. And notice, again, notice I'm running as root here. So. Uh, you have to be root or have sudo to do this part. Okay, so I did an ls and it showed me the files. And now what I want to do is I want to run this thing called vpn underscore install dot sh. And yes, I will accept the license agreement. And it's all done. Okay, now let's see if it works. We'll come up here to applications. We'll come down here to internet. And then at the top of the list is something, on my list, is something called Cisco AnyConnect Secure Mobility Client. That's the actual application. So I'll go ahead and click Enter, and it came up. That's a very good sign. It says Connect To. I'm going to type in vpn.cc.lehigh.edu, no, and then I'll hit Connect. And excuse me, a, a quick review again. Uh, it says, for the group, it says general access. If you use general access, it will use split tunneling. Anything that's destined for Lehigh will go to Lehigh. Anything like uh, Google or something like that will go directly out to the website uh, and not pass through Lehigh. If you need to use, uh, if you need to use library databases, uh, to, for example, to look at journals, or if you're at a place where uh, some websites are uh, being blocked or some domains are being blocked uh, but Lehigh works. You can use library resources to access those blocked domains. Okay, but I'm going to use general access. Okay, I'll enter my Lehigh ID and my password. Okay, what's happened now is uh, it puts the uh, little icon down here in the bottom tray. And uh, to see that it's working, um, I'm going to try to see a website that I know is behind the Lehigh firewall.
Okay, and so this website comes up, and that tells me that uh, that it's working. Uh, and the other thing you could do to test that it's working is you could um, type IP space A, and you'll see something down here that says CSC0 TUN0, and you'll see an address that starts with 128.180. If you see that, that's a good indication that it uh, also that it, the uh, VPN installation was was successful. And that's all there is to it. Uh, thanks for listening, and I hope this was helpful.